Gas Girls is Extreme for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is one of the ugliest low grade car battle games I've ever seen. Um, this game definitely tries to be like the next um, Twisted Metal with its customization of decals and super, super, super immature humor. I mean, there's like a character in this game named a lot of vagina, marijuana, Jedi Knight. I mean, it was clear that they were going through kind of a tongue-in-cheap thing with uh, the racing. Uh, so there, the game is ugly. I mean, it's just so ugly. Uh, so many parts about this game are just downright ugly. The environments, I mean, the cars look way better than the environments, and the environments themselves don't look that good. The cars handle well, which is surprising. I mean, you, you know, you tap your e-brake, you slide around the corner. Um, and then, you know, you hold your regular brake and you slow it considerably. I wouldn't recommend using your regular brake that much at all. And just depressing the acceleration around turns like most people do in most racing games. This is not at all an arcade uh, racer in the sense of, you know, there's like a bunch of events where you compete. I mean, a, a lot of it is just getting car upgrades. There's no real story. There's no real upgrading your crew. There's none of that. So it's not a simulation, it's not an arcade. I guess it would be like a battle simulator. Like, if Burnout uh, had weapons, it's like a grown-up Mario part, uh, Kart. But like, a Mario Kart that sucks. Cause not only is the whole thing really immature, your driver also spouts stupid lines from like, Duke Nukem, and like, he impersonates a bunch of celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he does this every time he gets a kill, and it took me a really long time to figure out how to turn this off. Apparently you have to go to start, you have to go to settings, you have to change the voice, and after you sift through seven voices, because they have seven voices, you turn it off. And you're going to get tired of this like in the first five minutes of the game. Uh, the game isn't that laggy, but it's considerably laggy when you compare it to literally most things. Even like Baja HD, which is like a remake of a 360 game, still doesn't lag this bag of parts. And the problem is that, uh, yeah, there's guns, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. But there's just too much going on for the game engine to handle. Uh, it's clear that they just, you know, ripped up an engine that they already had and used that. Um, but the problem isn't more so like how the environments are put together or how the racing is put together because the racing is fine um but their big pool was like guns and the last game that i saw that had guns that was a racing game like this is probably full auto which honestly did a lot better the arenas that you fight your cars in are just rehashed arenas or like sections of the single player racing um again like i said there's no real reason uh, to keep playing besides to get to the top of the charts and when you get there which I'm there right now like six races in and there is no reward the most you do is upgrade your weapons <clears throat> which sounds cool until you realize that there's only like five there's the standard machine guns there's the shotgun there's the double shotgun which is I, I recommend because they'll knock people off the trail and there's a rocket launcher and I think there's like a bigger rocket launcher and that's it there's also power-ups one that repairs your car one that drops an oil slick which is the best uh, I think you press Y and you drop the oil slick, slows down other people, one that gives you more ammo, one that gives a smoke screen that usually doesn't work because obviously AI is programmed to pretty much drive anywhere and a smoke screen is not going to slow them down, and a mine that you can run over, and then when you run over the little thing on the screen, it uh, shows it's like, you ran over your own mine, or someone ran over your own mine, and like, these look so annoying, it's like a really terrible version of like discord but on the left and why is it like this like i don't need to know who got hit by my mind and like a little funny joke next to it i just need to know that my mind hit somebody and that's cool uh the more explosions that line the screen the more the game lags the races are painfully easy um even on the lower difficulties races where like you're facing against people that obviously are supposed to suck it's always the same characters and they don't really evolve past uh, just hitting the gas on straightaways. And you can usually, if you played any racer, barring like if you play like Mario Kart or something, you're going to be able to maneuver around these people pretty quickly. Even when they get in the lead, a lot of times what you can do is you can just um, you can just use like grenades or, like I said, the double shotguns knock them off balance, and that'll be it. A lot of the racing just has to do with hitting your boost on straightaways. Um, drifting in the corners by letting go of the acceleration when you move around the corner and accelerating outside and that's it there's uh, there's timed events which are stupid because like you have to maximize your car's acceleration in the garage 
uh, to get this and the tree for the acceleration and the handling and the turning doesn't mean anything there's all you really need to do is buy the best car in your class when you have enough money once you do that upgrade your acceleration upgrade your handling and then upgrade your boost and that's it everything else is superficial yeah there's like parts to make your like car look cooler yeah there's sponsors that give you a little bit of extra money but I would then none of that matters the sponsors barely give you any extra money and even if you have money, what are you going to do with it? Buy the next car. That's it. There's like no other reason. You can't fine tune your, your wheel parameters. You can't upgrade it so off-road handles better. And why if these vehicles are so off-road, why do they handle like just like a Honda Civic and dirt? Like they're just... Whatever. So besides the off-handling on the off-road tracks, when you're on the track, the game works pretty well. Um, there's a few issues like through clipping like when a bunch of people start at once and you try to uh, draft or um, get behind people and ride their kind of like slipstream to get in front of them for them play racing games uh, a lot of times they'll just stop or they'll just block you from moving forward and your car's boost doesn't really push people out of the way like it doesn't burn out so like you're just kind of stuck so you got to maneuver around each racer very carefully there's damage to your car um, and you can actually just, which I, the one thing that I will say positive about the combat racing is you can just kill everyone in the race, and then you'll win. Like, if you want to be that guy, there's actually this mode called Knockout, besides Race and Demolition Derby, which are pretty much the only other modes. You can just, like, it gives you a lot of time. It gives you, like, an eight-lap race, and that's a really long race. And to shorten that, they suggest that you just shoot everyone and kill them in your way. So I thought that was cool, so I just did that in, like, every race. Anytime anyone was in front of me, I just shot him with a shotgun. Because fuck him. Like, I, I, I'm not going to sit here for seven laps and, and just drive around this and try to get first place. And then, like, sometimes it, what's weird is, like, when you get enough points, like, when you eliminate a lot of people in, like, the demolition derby modes, you still don't win because you didn't do enough damage. So, after replaying this mission, because I was just surviving everyone else, and I was still getting, like, sixth place, I'm like, what do you mean everyone died? So what you have to do is actually just, you have to wreck people. You have to completely um, destroy their car. And if you do that to at least two or three cars, I think in a demo driver you can do some extra damage, you usually win. If you just try to survive and drive around the circle like I did, avoiding all the cars, you won't win because the game's like, hey, you need to shoot somebody, Rob. And I'm like, all right. Um, another thing that I uh, don't like about this game is the sense of speed is really off. It doesn't make sense to me why I'm going like 125 or like 165 miles an hour and there's no difference. Uh, so I recently drove um, a BMW and a Nissan Armada. Um, the Nissan Armada has a V8 and the BMW has a V6 with a turbocharger on the back with a modded engine, $14,000 build. So I will tell you that going 125 is like pretty chill, like you could probably do it on a highway, but where you're going 165, you should not be able to maintain the same amount of control. I mean, you are dying. I mean, there's things flying by. You're losing grip on your tires. You're losing traction. Um, turns, like, you drift into turns. Like, you're going to take, your wheels are going to slide a little bit. You know, your clutch is going to dig in if you're using a manual car. But for some reason in this game, none of that happens. You just have the same amount of grip. And no matter how, like, you have to go to extreme lengths to, like, spin your car out, like, roll it. Like you have to go to like 189 or to like 200 miles an hour in this game, which only a few cars can get to. And that's like the only way. Like even at first standard transmission, say you don't have a V6, anything below a V6 and you push it, you don't have uh, all wheel drive, you don't have um, like a serious powertrain in your car and you just try to get it to 125, your car is going to shake, your car is going to rattle, your, your radiator is going to rattle, your tires are going to like burn down real quick. Um, but it seems like no matter what, I was driving like a semi, and I was driving a pickup truck, and I was driving a bug, and I was all hitting like 165 with them on gravel, to concrete, to gravel, to racing, like streets, just regular streets, I guess, and there was no visible difference in grip. This would never happen in like most racing games. Like even stupid, terrible, unrealistic ones. Like... Flat out Ultimate Carnage, which I will review later. Like, even in Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, where you're literally like flinging your character out of your car to win points, 
it still shows a difference between you going on dirt, transitioning into, like, you know, actually, like, asphalt. Like, you get better grip because it's asphalt. Like, even if you have a 4 by 4 vehicle, and I, I recently saw a commercial, it was probably, like, some stupid commercial for Chevy that, like, their cars never perform the same way. Anyways, so she, like, threw on four-wheel drive, and off-road mode and like put it on to like the gravel and she was having grip issues but she drove off like if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle yeah like it's gonna handle better in dirt but it's not gonna handle the same as it does in asphalt if that's just gonna perform a lot better it's just gonna burn the crap out of your fuel tank and i think that's my main problem with this game there's a, there's a clear indication that they were trying to like put racing first and they were like oh let's put guns in this it'll be funny and the guns just don't work. The gunplay doesn't work. You really just have to get really close to your camp with the shotgun, knock them off the road. Um, you can respawn, but, like, enemies can't. So when you kill them, they're done. That's it. The light's out. Uh, can I recommend this game? Uh, like, if you don't like serious sim racers and you're not going to nitpick about everything wrong with the car handling, which I do, you might enjoy just shooting your friends for a little bit. The multiplayer is dead. The servers are disconnected. Uh, I don't think they've been acted for a very long time. It's not made by a publishing company like EA or Origin Servers, I mean Ubisoft, so it's not going to run forever. Uh, but it, it can be like a couch potato kind of thing, let's drive cars, let's cheat people. But I, I could see so many other, like Flat Out, or or like Forza, or any, oh god, so just get Mario Kart out. Not, not to plug Nintendo here, but like, come on. would be so much better than sitting through this game. Like, if you really really like twisted metal but you didn't want a story but you wanted everything to like be terrible but like still play it on your xbox one that's the only way i could recommend this game if i had to give this game a rating which i never do almost it would probably it would probably be like a like a four like for a non-racing person they'd probably give it a six i saw someone give this a nine i was like are you crazy uh one more time before i cut out and in this review the music in this game is terrible it's like the worst music in fact that music that i played in the beginning wasn't was not the music of the game i wish it was because that's a sweet band but like no it's just a local band that i found like it, nah like the music in this game is so stock like i burn out through takedown they had stop music it was pretty much this developers playing okay yeah play what sounds like punk rock and they're like okay i'll play like a, a clash line or whatever in this game it's like they didn't even try they're like uh throw like a bunch of distortions on there and uh like hit the drums really fast and let's just make all tracks that way it's like there's not even they're not even real like indie tracks like if you don't in any label with someone you know obviously you're not signed it's not a big name there's not even that there's nothing i mean it's just noise it's like just like the worst punk rock album i've ever heard all the time and it's bad and I, I i think out of all the games i've ever played with stock music in them or racing or like you either have to have like dirt 4 has terrible music uh dirt rally 2.0 has terrible music also and they're not licensed tracks but what overpowers that as a comparison to this game is that at least the car sounds are cool. <laughs> like, all of the trucks in this game sound the same. So if the vehicles sound terrible and boring and stupid, and the music is also terrible and boring and stupid, I muted it so quick and put it on my Spotify, uh, which is cool that you can do that now. You just like put your Spotify play over your game because this game soundtrack is dog shit. But like, what you can do instead of that is like yeah just just turn it off it's bad i've never i really have not i've played like 500 racing games. i have never heard stock music this bad i don't know who wrote it but like definitely you're not a musician i don't know what you're doing it's just so bad i can't i'm i can't with the music i can't handle the music yeah uh but that's my review for this game I, this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be because I really, 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 really don't like this game. But uh, I'll thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, as, as you uh, all know, uh, start the Patreon up, subscribe, like the video for more content, and uh, stay strong.